Hey, good day, guys. It's Dr. Finn here, man. Your plants doctor. Um, what I'll be doing today, um, we'll be testing some capacitors that I got out of an air, two of them I got out of an air conditioner, an old window air conditioner that I've scrapped in the past. The other one I got out of a cooling fan, industrial cooling fan. So we're going to be testing them today, and I'll be using my Honeytech capacitance meter. It's not a multimeter, it's a capacitance meter. It only tests capacitors. Um, I have a multi, there are multimeters that do have capacitance range, but I'm using, I chose, I chose to use this one because I have a multimeter that can also test capacitance. But I choose to use this one because um, it solely tests its capacitance, you know, that's just its function. Um, my multimeter also works quite good as well. Its capacitance range function also works quite well, but I just choose to use this one. Um, our first test will be to test this big old run cap. And how you test it, let me zoom in a little bit. Just bear with me a bit. Get my camera set up. There you go. Um, this is my run cap, and if you can look carefully, you're gonna see some ratings to the bottom of it. It says 420 volts AC, um, 30 microfarads made in Thailand, and there's a part number below. So it's 30 microfarad. Um, all you do, I'm gonna just set my capacitance meter. I'm gonna set it to the 200 microfarad range, and. Set it up so you can see it. All of, it's a non-polarized capacitor also, so it doesn't matter which pin you put, which lead or which probe you put, which lead on, it doesn't matter. I pin the other one there. And if we can look carefully, we're getting about 29.6, which is a good range which says that this capacitor is within range because you give these things like 5% added or taken away this is a good capacitor still despite it's all beat up looking where where and tear look so it's a good capacitor and it's a run cap for a compressor for an old window air conditioner our next capacitor we'll be testing this one is for a fan the same window air conditioner this one was a run cap for the fan and it's rated at 4 microfarads and you can see the 5% um, uh, minus and plus sign that means 5% added or taken from its total value it's within good range and 50 60 hertz 450 volts AC a maximum temperature of 70 degrees C this thing could operate in that temperature okay so what I'll be doing same thing goes, these are non-polarized capacitors, so I'm just going to place, it doesn't matter which lead you place where, so bam, and we're getting about 3.7 microfarads, which is good, well within um, range, so this is a good cap also. All of this I got out of a junky old, won't beat up air conditioner, window air conditioner that lasts it's compressed over years of beating and wear and tear so despite this one has um, this one I got out of industrial cooling fan it's also with that 4 microfarads um, 250 volts AC though and this one has the maximum temperature rating at 70 degrees C as you can see it has a part number right below there um, and points to note Again, this is a non-polarized capacitor, so the wires that you see here, it doesn't matter. Not because you see red and black, you have to line them up. Because I'm okay, I'm gonna put a red to the black lead. I'm gonna show you. It doesn't really matter. There's no polarity here. It's a run cap also. And if we look carefully, we're getting about 3.9 microfarads, so it's even has more value than the larger, slightly larger one that you saw a while ago. So it's, this is, 
these, all these capacitors are good. Um, this test is good. And this is a test you can do with um, a multimeter. Ensure that it has a capacitance range. Or uh, I don't know if anyone would like to purchase one of these. I think I paid about 17 or 18 bucks US dollars for this. Yeah, so all these capacitors have been proven, so it doesn't matter which way you go. And I could switch the leads around, you're still gonna get the same reading. So if I put red with red and black with black, you're still gonna get the same rating. So it doesn't matter, these are non-polarized non capacitors, so there's no negative or positive leads to this, these capacitors. So thank you folks for viewing. This has been another video production by none other than your, none other than your doctor, a plants doctor, Dr. Finno. Thank you guys for viewing. We'll have more vids in the future. Peace out. May God bless you.